Smith the run on that play, well defended by the Buckeyes. Ten minutes, ten seconds left, second quarter. Ohio State seven, Colorado seven. One receiver split 15 to the right. Fumble! It appears as though Ohio State's got it. As the Buffaloes, out of the wishbone, flub the handoff on the exchange to Weatherspoon. Hatcher just didn't get it to him. see who's got it no official signal yet there it is oh, at the 27 of Colorado as the Buffaloes muff the handoff as Hatcher tried to give it to the fullback a little late always a potential problem with that late handoff to the fullback and riding him, that contact may occur from the defensive team. You'll see Hatcher here put it into Weatherspoon's belly, and there's contact that occurs right there as Lee hits Weatherspoon, jars the ball loose. Buckeyes scramble for the football. Too difficult to see who came up with it, but the Buckeyes have it. Woldridge to the near side, outside right tackle for about five. Kurt Koch upended him. John Woldridge may have made a little bit more out of that than he was supposed to get. Remington, the fine inside linebacker, was right at the line of scrimmage. Barry Remington, John Woldridge shook him and went inside and got a few yards off that play anyway. Got about four to be exact. Second down and six from the Colorado 23. Nine minutes, 28 seconds to go in the second quarter. From Folsom Field in Boulder, Colorado, 7-7 ball game. Woolridge again between left guard and left tackle, and he wedges out about five. Third and one coming up. Darren Schubeck and Mickey Pruitt pin the ball carrier. Again, good blocking up front. Number 56, Jim Gilmore was leading the way. Johnny Woolridge went right behind him. Colorado head coach uh, Bill McCartney, who assisted uh, Bo Schembechler for eight years at Michigan, five as the defensive coordinator for the Wolverines. Cooper's got it, and he lugs it for a first down to the 15. Appeared to be a trap play right up the middle, Paul. Did look like a trap play. Just good straight ahead blocking one-on-one. -on -one. Cooper, big strong fullback, getting that short yardage for the first down. Clock winding down. Eight and a half minutes to go second period. Lenny split left. Carter to the right at the bottom of the picture. Barsado's throwing on Tate was covering a wise throw by Carsados. There was no way he could throw that ball back to the end zone side. If he did, he risked an interception. Well, not very much room for Chris Carter to work into the short side of the field, throwing a, a sideline pattern. David Tate was in pretty good position. However, he was getting some help from underneath number 40, Remington, who had gotten back into coverage if Carter decided to go back to the middle. So they have had a continuous in and out or some form of double coverage scheme on Chris Carter. Most of all, statement, Paul. The Buckeyes are executing that sprint draw play much more effectively today than a week ago. A 15-yard scamper to the end zone by Woldridge. Bread and butter of the Ohio State offense, the sprint draw. There's Johnny Woolridge, a gaping hole. Mike Lanise out there helping him out. 26 Pickens trying to make the stop. No-go. Woolridge, a 15-yard touchdown for the Buckeyes.